I moved to Mexico. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm here in Mexico. Uh, I've, I've just moved here about a week ago. Um, and I kind of just wanted this video to be a super casual conversation between you and I because I feel like I don't really make those videos a lot. And I don't know. Sometimes I feel disconnected. And to be honest, sometimes when I make YouTube videos, I don't want to share my personal life, to be honest. Um, not not meant to be rude, just, you know, some, some things are personal and it's meant to, meant to stay that way. I'm also sorry if you can hear all the birds chirping in the background. So I've basically just came here to Mexico with two backpacks. Um, I've traveled all around the world and I'm a big fan of just having two bags uh, so I can carry everything onto the plane. So right now I have my lavalier mic and then I'm shooting on a Sony ZV-1 if you're interested in that. And then on top is a Rode Video Mic Pro. Anyways, not that I don't know why you care, but whatever. This video is honestly just going to be me blabbering it, and I hope that you don't get too bored <laughs> listening to it. But anyways, I moved to Mexico. Why? Um, it's probably your, the first question that comes to your mind. I have always thought of moving to Mexico, probably since I graduated high school and kind of towards, actually, I'd rather say kind of in the middle of my college career is when I think I really started to say, like, oh, it might be cool to live in Mexico for a while. Um... So I graduated college last year, June, so it's June 2022, and I thought to myself, you know, I don't know, like, I don't know, well, maybe I can go somewhere, I can travel, I don't really know, um, because, you know, YouTube and teaching Spanish online is my job, um, that's what I do, so I thought, well, I could, you know, I could be wherever I'd like, blah, 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 um, but basically I ended up staying um, and living at home basically up until... Um, this point, which is, it's currently May. So I got to Mexico City, I'm in Mexico City right now, on May 2nd, um, 2023. So uh, by the time I release this video, who knows uh, what date it will be. A lot of times I release videos months in advance. Um, this video I'll probably release, but just so you know, if there's like a mix of things going on, um, of like nice studio videos and whatever, those videos were filmed when I was still living at home. Um, but now, from now on, things are going to be different. So the room that I'm staying in right now is an Airbnb that I have until the end of the month, and then I'll be moving into a different place. Um, but anyhow, I've always thought about moving to Mexico, but there was nothing that was ever really pushing me to get out of my comfort zone and just go. I mean, the thing is, my situation at home, living at home, was super great, to be honest. I have a great relationship with my parents, and everything's good. No complaints. I don't have to pay rent, right? So every, everything's good. Um, <laughs> I apologize if these birds are being super loud. Here, I'm just going to show you just so you can see. <laughs> They're up there. I'm telling you, this video is going to be super casual. I don't know if you can see them. But they kind of have like a nest back here. And I'll show you all my... I'll show you everything. But anyways, I'm telling you, this video is going to be just really casual, super rough cut. <laughs> okay, cool. So anyways, um, so yeah, so you know, there was nothing that was really like pushing me to just get out of my comfort zone and just go. Um, but then, basically at the end of last year, end of 2022, um, like in December, I started talking to my now girlfriend and um, she's from Mexico, she's from Mexico City, and I thought, gosh, you know, I mean, I could go down there and visit and everything, or I could just go down there. Uh, not just for her, of course, she's definitely a big reason. It definitely, I think, was the kick in the butt for me to come down here. Um, but I think, uh, you know, I, I can improve my Spanish, although that might sound silly. Um, you know, make videos about living in Mexico or just make videos about Mexico so you can see kind of what it's like here. Of course, Mexico is a gigantic country and I'm just in Mexico City. Um, of course, right now, I'm saying in the gringo neighborhood of La Condesa, um, if you're not already familiar, La Condesa and Roma Norte in Mexico City are kind of like the typical where foreigners stay. And there's a lot of foreigners here where I'm staying um, just because they're known to be cool, beautiful, hip um, neighborhoods. And the reality is they are. They're beautiful. But also foreigners like myself are causing issues. We're causing gentrification issues here in these neighborhoods because basically people who have uh, Airbnbs just like this one are raising prices sky high. Um, and it's just not sustainable for locals. So now we have all these foreigners here. And there's no, you know, of course there's still, you know, Mexicans here, but there get, a lot of people aren't able to afford the prices here. I mean, it's pretty interesting because where I'm staying is a bunch of fancy restaurants just around me. But the great thing about Mexico is that there's like street food, I swear, on like every corner. Um, so that's been really nice. But yeah, so I've been here for about a week. I'm sure a lot is going to change. I don't know. Right now I'm trying to get into a routine. I'm trying to just figure out my life, figure out what I'm doing. 
um, you know, I want to keep uh, filming videos for you. I want to keep teaching you Spanish. I want to, you know, work on my business, SpanishNate.com. Um, and yeah, and just live here and just, just soak it up, you know, meet new friends. I really want to learn how to salsa dance. So my plan is to start taking uh, salsa classes now. And ever since I got here, um, there's been a lot of people that I already know who are in Mexico City. Um, and that's been really cool just to, to kind of have that community built in. But to be honest, I think this first week, um, you know, the last few days, I think I've realized, like, wow, you know, I don't, I don't really know many people here deeply besides my girlfriend. Um, so I'm excited to kind of start building a community. Also, I don't know if you can hear a bunch of background noise. Like right now, there's like a dog barking. You hear a bunch of the birds, maybe some cars. Um, but the reality is the area that I'm staying in is super quiet. In fact, walking around at night, I'm always extremely surprised by how few people there are. Granted, I guess it depends on the day, um, but yeah, it really is beautiful here. Um, I know that a lot of times us as Americans can have this negative perception of Mexico, but I think once you get here, of course, it depends where you go, you realize that things are not always <laughs> um, as they seem or as they're portrayed in the media. It's actually hilarious because there's a place a few minutes away from me um, called, I think it's called Sazon or something like that. It's, it's a comida corrida place, which is like a really cheap place where you get a ton of food where you go for la comida. La comida is lunch in Mexico. So you go for la comida and for a hundred pesos, which is basically roughly $5, five US dollars, um, you get a ton of food. You get the choose between like soup, blah, 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 all this stuff, whatever. It's a lot of food. Anyways, I was there. I'm like the only American there, you know, which, which, which felt cool. I was like, cool. It's, I want to kind of be part of the local scene, whatever. But I'm watching on the TV and on the TV, it has all of these terrible and horrible news that are going on in the U.S. And I just find it so funny because in the U.S., maybe we see, of course, the horrible things that happen in the U.S., but of course, we also hear and see a lot about Mexico. So it's kind of funny how here in Mexico, people are seeing all these bad things about the U.S. And of course, here in Mexico, too. But anyways, um, yeah, I'd love, you know, if you have any questions or if you have any comments or you want to know why I moved to Mexico more or if you have, like I said, yeah, any specific questions, what it's like, safety, cost of living, any of these things, I'll, I'll, more than, I'll be more than happy to, to make a video. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just kind of want this, this video to be a blabbering video. And also, I think it might be nice for myself to, to go back and look at this, you know, <laughs> however many years from now. Um, but you know what? in the one week I've been here, I've done a lot of things and I think I was a little stressed out, but you know, I've been able to get a Metro pass. Uh, I've got this little Echo BC, which is basically there's bikes all around the city. Um, granted like more like a uh, center and, um, and uh, it's like 30 us dollars a year basically. So now I can just like go grab a bike. There's a little app and just ride around. It's beautiful where I'm at. There's a bunch of beautiful parks. The two most popular ones being Parque España and Parque Mexico. Um, oh my gosh, these places are beautiful. I mean, you'd be amazed at how green it here is in Mexico city. Granted, it depends kind of on where you're at, but especially in this area, you know, Condesa de Roma Norte, Cuatemoc, Juarez, um, Polanco, like, I mean, all throughout the city, the, it, it is green. Like, you'd be amazed at how green it is here. And I suppose it makes sense since Mexico City is built right on, like, a dried up lake bed. So I suppose that makes sense. But, um, yeah, I mean, the short week I've been here, I've been having a lot of fun. I actually, um, why not? I'll tell you, I got my temporary residency visa yesterday. Um, that was an insane process, but um, I did it. So basically, now I can be in Mexico for up for a year. And then at the end of that year, I can renew my visa and I can be here for three more years. Um, a lot of people come here like to work remotely on tourist visas. And it's not always guaranteed that they'll give you the six months that you'll get as an American citizen. I don't know what it's like for people of other nationalities. Um, and also you know, there are certain benefits that you get uh, being a resident, like you know being able to open a bank account and various other things. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, so that's kind of what I've been doing, you know, I've been meeting up with people I, I know from my YouTube videos and things like that, um, lots of walking here, but getting around here is really easy, Uber is super common, you can take a taxi, ride your bike, um, take the metro, metro bus, um, they also have peseros, which are like these smaller buses, which um, personally I haven't taken yet, and I don't know if I will, just because I've heard they're not as safe as uh, taking something like the metro bus, which is just a regular bus. Um, 
anyhow, anyhow, I'm loving it here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you around my room. I'll, I'll take maybe some B-roll clips and I'll just put them over this, this speaking part. But um, I'm, I'm just in a little room. Uh, I mean, I'll be moving, like I said, at the end of this month and I'll be in a bigger space. It'll be much nicer um, and surprisingly cheaper just because I know the people in a different part of the, the city. But um, yeah, I mean, so far I'm loving it here. Um, you, yeah, it's just a really nice lifestyle. Um, you know, the fact that you can go out and get super cheap street food that's delicious um, is really convenient because, you know, I feel like when I would, like going out to eat is probably my biggest expense, or at least it was in the US, is like when I would go out and do things, it would be going out to eat, you know, obviously besides rent and things like this. Um, so it's nice to have that kind of option. Also, um, you know, going to the supermarket, it's extremely affordable. Also, you can just go to open market to get your fresh produce, which is quite nice. Um, transportation, like I said, super nice. Just quality of life here is really good. Um, traffic is bad here, but once again, if you're using, uh, you know, public uh, transport, it's, it's really, really quite tolerable. Um, also, you know, I was worried about the pollution here because when I had first come here was in last year of November. And I remember like getting here and being like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, you can like, oh, like you can feel the pollution. But it's interesting. So here in May, um, which kind of, I think May, towards the end of May is kind of start of the rainy season. And then it goes until I want to say June, July, potentially August. I'm not, not 100% sure on that. Um, it, it, the pollution hasn't, I haven't really felt it as much and it hasn't been as much of an issue as I was thinking. Um, yeah, with regards to safety, how I felt. The, the neighborhoods I'm at are, are feel quite safe when I'm walking around. Um, you know, with regards to like narcotraficante, like crime and all that, I, you know, I don't, that, that doesn't feel super prevalent here in the city. Um, I think the thing you just have to worry about is like petty crime, just getting your stuff stolen or getting mugged. Um, I've, I've spoken to quite a few Mexicans um, since I've been here, uh, like local Mexicans, and they said that um, they've told me about some, some bad experiences they've had, but... I think the biggest like safety thing to worry about is just not getting your stuff stolen. And if someone does approach you at night, like if you're walking around in an area maybe you shouldn't be or something you're not familiar with, at night is probably the, the, you know, the highest likelihood of you getting um, mugged or your stuff stolen. Um, you know, it's just to give them your stuff because it's, I've heard it's quite common that you know, people will, they'll, they'll say like assault, like, oh, eh, nunca me han asaltado. They never assaulted me or whatever. Um, it's, it's quite common that they'll have like a knife or a gun. Um, so just, Hey, here's my stuff and you should be all good. Um, so I think that's kind of the biggest safety concern here in the city. Also like, uh, just like riding your bike around. I think you have to be careful. Uh, I still haven't, uh, tried out the Echo BC yet. Um, cause I got it a few days ago. Um, and then yesterday I was at the, uh, getting my visa all day, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's super, everything's like super convenient. Um, you know, everything mostly runs on, uh, like, cash. Well, I take that back. I mean, actually, you can use your card in quite a lot of places. Um, I'd say, you know, the only thing is maybe, like, street food is the biggest thing. Um, also, if you're a Mexican or if you've lived in Mexico City or Mexico for a while, you know, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts um, on, on what I'm saying or if there's any other advice or things you'd like to share in the comments with people. Go ahead. Like I said, I want this video to be super casual and like a conversation. Um, I don't know, because I don't typically do this, I think, uh, like this long format, just blabbering, whatever. Um, I don't know. I it, It's interesting. Sometimes I think about, you know, like the kinds of videos I want to be making. I mean, I think I want to make videos for people who are trying to learn Spanish um, and see, yeah, like, and see, oh my gosh, and who are interested in, in uh, you know, in Mexico or just, you know, Hispanic culture. Uh, that's, that's kind of my goal. And it sounds silly and it sounds funny to say this in a YouTube video, but I don't know. I think before, like, I really wanted to be a YouTube, YouTube, YouTuber, whatever. But I don't know. I, my life calling is more so to teach Spanish. And sometimes, like, I don't know. I just, they don't, like, sometimes I just don't want to film videos. I don't know. Uh, but also, I want to help you, and I want to show you kind of what life is like. And, um, yeah, I want to, I want to make good videos for you and everything. But, I mean, teach you. And honestly, a big reason that I try to make content consistently, of course, is to entertain you, but also it helps people find out about my website and then I teach Spanish, um, which enables me to teach Spanish. <laughs> so anyhow, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you have questions or 
whatever, um, please just leave me a comment or also let me know what kinds of videos you'd like for me to, to make here. Um, I think it would be interesting um, you know, to hear your, hear your thoughts on that. But yeah, here I am in Mexico City. Me encanta. And um, yeah, it's, it's already been a lot of fun. I've been doing a lot of things and, and kind of getting into my routine. So right now you're in my windowsill. Uh, my room is, <laughs> isn't is the, the biggest, it's quite small, but anyhow, um, I'm kind of blabbering. I'm trying to think of anything else that I can can tell you, but I just wanted this to be kind of an honest video, and uh, yeah, I don't know, so that's, that's me, um, and here I am in Mexico City, so if you start to notice the change, it's because I'm here, um, and I don't have all of the like everything set up and everything so I don't have like my fancy lights or anything like that but I have my little microphone I have my nice camera so what, what more can I need um, yeah anyways I think that's it thanks so much for watching this video if you have any questions leave me a comment and yeah I'll see you in the next video <laughs> adios <laughs>